My name is Roger Netris. I'm 55 years old, an anesthesiologist, husband, and father of two. I've been climbing on rock faces for 37 years. Living in South Africa, a backwater of the climbing scene, meant being part of a small climbing community and climbing root pool. Fairly quickly I climbed most of the accessible routes and as a result my attention was drawn to opening new routes on the unclimbed faces. It's been this endeavour that has captured and held my attention and has now defined my lifetime of playing on rock faces. Europa is the story of one of these new lines. Right, that's the drill and all the cave gear up here. Oh. So I've made it across uh, from the anchors. You can see I've got some eight gear in here. And now I'm going to drill the first anchor. I'm wrapping down trying to get uh, some cave gear in. And there's no gear here. So what I've done is I've placed the... Uh, 8 bolt and I'm going to clip into that using my ropeman cinch the ropeman up tight lower down onto it the advantage of this is that now that I'm on my ropeman my, my wrap line is loose and I can clip it into that bolt and continue wrapping on down uh, it's pretty epic here. Yeah. As you can see, the water falls in flood after five days of rain. I have nothing better to do than to come and uh, get some drilling done on the project. I'm now going to Juma up the line and I'm going to start drilling the placements. This is the rig that I'm going to use. It's really handy when you're bolting to have a very comfortable rig. Nice setup so you can do my easily, so you're comfortable in your seat because this session's probably going to take me about two and a half hours. push it in just rotate it a few times just to help mix the glue to get rid of any air bubbles and then right at the end it should just sit up and you could just neaten it off with your finger or a stick a little rag just to make the whole thing sit nicely Then you have the dangerous problem of loose rock, which has to come off. This one here, which isn't really loose, 
but it's not really solid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean it out, so I'm going to glue it, and I'm going to pin it. And hopefully we'll have a hole that will be safe and fun to climb on. So we've drilled right through, right through here at an angle, and we're coming into the main part of the rock face up there. You'll see how long this drill bit is. So here we go, we're going to take this out. Drill holes are in, and we've cleaned out the slot all the way along the top of the hole. So here we have the glue gun with an extension right to the top, and we're going to fill the hole with glue. Here we have the finished product. Glued all the way along the top. Three pins are in. And here's the only guy I know who's a better climber than Adam Andra. He's probably gonna send my route before me. This is the fourth day on the route. I need to get up there now and clear off all the aid gear and the static line and do the final cleanup and the final markup. There's a lot of work involved and you can see why when people bolt routes, they really wanna open them. Don't steal my projects, Oak. Progress was not ideal on the first day. The waterfall was in flood. The hold's a little damp to say the least, and the sequence through the first roof proved elusive. At this point I had a 30 meter long project and I could hardly get off the ground. I had made no progress whatsoever and went home pondering just what kind of monster I had created. So fifth climbing day on the route. I woke up this morning so psyched, I forgot to pack my harness. So I've been climbing today on this rig. It's uh, something you can uh, rip out of a climbing rope. Anyway, with this setup, I made it to a new high point all the way up to the ninth bolt. That's nine bolts, get in there slowly. Anesthesia is a demanding and time-hungry occupation. The variables are many. We practice our art on the healthy, the diseased, the medicated, the broken, the worn out, the young, the old, and the terrified. From small to major procedures, the challenges are complex, expectations high, and there's never any room for error. You weave these variables into safe anesthesia and then the surgeon steps in and upsets your cot. It's a two-edged sword. 
These are people's lives you are entrusted with and their appreciation is genuine. The relationship is intimate and as a result both rewarding and burdensome. It's a weight that I am well familiar with. That weight changed however with the COVID-19 pandemic. For the first time I felt physically threatened by my workplace and profession. From an enemy I couldn't see and from patients that I struggled to help. I lost colleagues, friends and patients to the disease. All while working the longest hours of my career as the waves of infection broke onto our hospital strained defences. We are all able to find strength and step up during a crisis. What sets my career apart is its requirement to have to do this again and again and then again. I love what I do, but on occasion it has driven me to a standstill and is indeed a heavy burden that I've learned regularly needs to be put down. That's where the rock faces step in. It's something about sport, especially an intimidating sport such as climbing is so immersive that your attention distills down to the task at hand. I find it impossible to dwell on my work when dangling above the void. To some this would be a nightmare. To me, it is a sanctuary. Day eight, day nine, ten, day eleven. By the eleventh climbing day, I had solved all the necessary sequences and climbed with a number of rests on the rope all the way to the final anchors. Linking short sections together was possible, but any attempts at continuity from the ground were grinding to an arm burning and psych rendering halt at about half height. Nice go! <laughs> What's wrong, Roger? What's wrong? I've got earthworms in my forearm! <laughs> it's five o'clock in the morning. It's a big day today. Driving down to Durban to get my vaccination. Hopefully that'll take some of the anxiety and the pressure off working in this COVID environment.
got my vaccine this morning. I'm pretty sure the vaccine is going to help me out today. We're hoping to get all the way to the chains. Day 17 and I'm finally finding the flow on the route and I'm seeing the benefits of my strength training. consistently make it to the bat hang rest, but more importantly, I'm less tired at this point. Launching into the crux section after the rest, I feel ready to finally give this monster a proper fight. Ignoring the fact that exhaustion ground my attempt to a halt, I push on. Even though I am tired, 
climbing the higher sections in a state of fatigue enables me to refine these sequences, thus improving my efficiency. It also prepares me mentally for climbing while my arms are begging me to stop. It is both a mental and a physical game that I'm playing. Ever believing it will all come together and that ultimately I will, in one uninterrupted attempt, pull through the final mantle moves at the top. Go. No. Go. <laughs> Go for it. While working the line had ensured good progress, I clearly wasn't in the physical condition necessary to complete the route in one uninterrupted push. It was time to get in some training. Eight years ago I built an open Southern Rock Climbing Center, a tiny prototype climbing gym in Pine Town. While still a small venue, we have managed to pack the location with all the components necessary to build better climbers. And build them we have, producing five Africa Cup finalists in 2020 and in 2021, Africa's first female Olympic athlete. Perhaps what I'm most proud of is the community it supports jobs it created, the young climbers it developed and the smiles that clearly abound. So how does one manage to climb 8B at aged 55? Climbing as a physical endeavour has a surprising longevity amongst its ageing athletes. The reason possibly being that it's so skill intensive. Yes, you do need the necessary physical conditioning to manage a 30 meter overhanging rock wall. But as any climber will tell you, it's so much more than just a series of pull-ups. The 
technical solutions to a section of climbable rock may be many and subtle, some being easier or harder than others. One has to chase efficiency on these long resistance style climbs, where subtle changes in foot, body or hand position can lead to small savings. Savings that can be spent further up the wall once fatigue has accumulated. Experienced athletes are also perhaps better equipped to deal with the intimidation of the environment and more importantly, the intimidation of the task at hand. Especially if it is a new route at one's limit. Day 20. Guys, this feel like a shipwrecked mariner's diary. Maybe a rescue ship's gonna come over the horizon today. Got my tape, got my pad, got my secret sauce. I've got my reading glasses. All sorts of other aids with the agent. Day 20 is going to be a good one. Percent. Right, easy. Go back. Go back! Day 21. I can sense the approaching success now. I fell on the second last hard section on my previous visit. I have realized that it's not just about how you climb Europa, but also how you learn to rest when you can. To manage the fuel burn. I am more relaxed on the wall, turning up the throttle when necessary and sneaking arm shakes when I can. Yeah, come on, Raj. Nice. Yeah, Raj, come on, dude. Yeah. Nice, dude. Nice, dude. Thanks. 
Nice, Roger. Yes, dude, come on. This day I get further than ever before and I find myself at the final hurdle. Heartbreak mantle. The last crux. Over the two month period I spent working this route, I only ever managed to climb this bizarre section twice. It's crazy awkward, with no purchase for your feet and shiny smooth ripples for your hands. All on a polished upsloping ledge. I had no idea what the accumulated fatigue would contribute to this hurdle, or just how hard the final boss fight would be. I kind of hoped that if I got that far, I would just make it happen, somehow. Come on, just fight, 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 fight! Come on, come on, Ron, keep going, dude! Yes, dude, come on! Yes! Come on! Come on! Go, go, go! Come on! Come on, come on. Try, 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 try. Yeah, it is. Then also, it's just really hard though. Yeah. I don't know what he's on. I know he's awesome to take. Come on! Come on! Come on, Roger! Fight! Fight! Yes! Come on. That's it! Fight! Come on! Keep it going! Come on! Go, go, go! Come on. Yes, dude! Come on! Yeah! Yeah! Nice, Roger! Keep going! Good <laughs> fuck, that's scary, dude. <laughs> This route is the king. There's still another two draws I can see. Holy shit. I've got a lot to know this dude. But I mean, he'll be smoked off, right? He will be. But this is just full power now, dude. He's like, you're gonna hold on because you want to hold on. Yeah, come on, Roger. Come on, yeah. Come on. Nice. Yeah, man. I'll be like the best cheerleader ever. Yeah! The galaxy wall is a sacred space for a number of groups. I guess we can add climbers to its long list of devotees. Like other worshippers, we make regular pilgrimages to its vaulted halls. We too are zealots. 
chasing a fleeting nirvana, when technical perfection, the physical movement and the will to persevere coalesce. On the rare occasion this happens, we are golden. And the real world with its real problems and even bigger challenges temporarily becomes only a distant echo.